Hi, I'm LV from Meadowlark Log Homes. We arrived here to get the Big Sky Rancher stayed. David here is taking a little, doing a little touch up on the corners with the sander. It takes the numbers off, makes it smooth. Takes the slivers off. And we're preparing to get the house cleaned off and with a cleaner and a pressure washer and then get the stain, uh, three coats of stain on the outside and cheeking on all the logs. We brought all of our tools and stain and supplies in the ram van. And the next step that we're doing, David is pressure washing the soap off. We put some natural cleaner on the logs. Now he's pressure washing that cleaner off and making the logs nice and clean. I'm going to take a walk around this Big Sky Rancher so we can see the before and after. Since we worked on this last, they put the metal roof on. They put some floors down inside and the inside is almost finished. And we varnished and chinked the inside. I'll get some video of that a little bit later. Uh, later on in this video, we'll, we'll tie that in. But right now, I'll go on there on, around the outside and show you the logs have been here over the winter now, and it's time to get the stain on them. Tomorrow we're going to lightly sand this porch deck floor. As you can see, it weathered a little bit over the winter. But sanding and then pressure washing the floor, the railings, and the whole house will clean it and brighten it, and then we put the stain on. It's a really rambling, very long rancher. The roof is a brown color with almost like a camo or a mottled finish on the metal. I'm not sure what the, the name of that color is, but it's got a uh, almost metallic uh, or multicolored look to the metal. It's beautiful. We started pressure washing the end of the garage so this end is clean and when those logs are dry we are ready to apply the stain we chink I mean we uh, mask the windows and the doors and then it's ready for the to apply the stain this is day two of the staining on the Big Sky Rancher the company who delivered the man lift is leaving. Bobcat of Mile City, they do a good job. So we have a man lift with a cage so we can go up to the high peak to stain all that and to get all the fascia. I think what we're going to do is hand brush all the fascia using a man lift so we don't have to mask all the metal. We're getting the windows masked. We've got a lot of the house power washed with a cleaner and then we're putting masking on the windows and doors and we have to mask things like this generator and the air conditioning unit, heating unit. So we're doing that masking right now in preparation for staining. This porch has been sanded, and David's finishing up the other porch. I prefer a 36 grit sandpaper, it's pretty rough. We, we give the porch a light kiss with that sander, and it takes off the 
the slivers and the rough parts just makes it a little smoother and still has a rustic look to it. Now this looks kind of dark because it's it's pretty dirty from the last fall and winter. Uh, people would track the mud in from there onto the porch. So that's why it's so dark looking. But after we're done sanding, we're going to take the cleaner uh, solution with the pressure washer to this side of the house. And we're gonna clean all this off, rinse it down from top to bottom, clean the porch off. It'll turn kind of golden and then it'll be ready for staining. We got the other side of the house cleaned off. And so we'll just finish up the sanding. And this is Jim, the owner, who came to watch. And that's Jim's museum over there, behind the fence. And this will be Jim's new house, his home right next to the Marmarth, North Dakota Auto Museum. He's got some really cool old vehicles sitting everywhere around his property and then the museum is full of very nice restored vehicles. This is the third morning and we've arrived at the Marmarth Auto Museum to continue our stain and chink of this house. Dave got done with his breakfast and I gotta get this video because the meadow larks and other birds are singing everywhere. So Dave's gonna continue to mask the windows and doors. I'm going to continue to brush the fascia around the house. I'm gonna have a walk around, show what we got done yesterday. I don't know if you can hear the meadowlarks and the other birds singing, but they are sure happy this morning. So I take the man lift, I go around the house, I hand brush the fascia. That way I don't have to mask all that metal and gutter. So I got to there last night. All the doors in this side have been masked so we can stain here and not overspray. I got stain on there yesterday, one coat. It looks nice already, one coat's nice and smooth. There's the surface of the, the one coat. I just did a little bit and then um, there'll be one more coat of color and then clear, but only got a little bit done here on this side. We'll probably have a coat on by tonight. Hopefully. There he's been masking all those doors <clears throat> and the windows. We got the porch all completely sanded and uh, lightly sanded and pressure washed with the cleaner. The whole house has been the cleaner has been applied to the whole house. There's a little water dripping out of the gutter. That must be the dew. Coming off the roof. Because there was no rain last night. So it's all been uh, cleaned. And we got this end to do the masking yet. I'm just listening to the birds. Beautiful. They sure are alive this morning. Yeah, you're doing a good job, but I like the looks of it after you put that uh, stain on. It looks good. It looked good before, but this makes it much, much better. This is Jim Van Horn. He's the owner of the museum right over there and the owner of this house. And so, what's your experience been so far? Last year we put the house up. Yeah, you put it up in record breaking time. Like a week, it was done. And it was done right. You didn't have to redo anything. And as you can look, you can look at it and tell that it's nothing wrong with it. Perfect. 
Then we came back this spring to uh, put the stain on, chink the outside. Yeah. Last winter he chinked the inside and it's a good job and he's going to do the outside and that's Philip. He, he does a really good job. Dave and I are doing the stain and Philip will do the chinking. Philip and his brother Matthew, they'll do the chinking on the outside. Yeah, it's, it's looking good. Mm. Well, we're glad you're happy. It's going to be nice when we get the stain on. So Dave's up I there. I not believe that stain would make it look that much nicer. I like the looks of the original logs the way they were. And now the stain makes them look a, a whole lot better. Yeah, they look kind of golden brown when you get done. Yeah. It, they look nice. If you go around the other side, you can tell. Yeah. Where it's done. So David's finishing up the last of the window masking. And then he'll jump on and help me with the uh, stain. And that's Jim. So he's rides around in this thing all day, him and his dog, and keep us out of trouble. So here is Jim and his friend Janice. And Weasel. And Weasel. Let's get a picture of Weasel. A oh, baby girl. Little baby poodle. Awesome. So we are in the third coat right now, putting it on. It looks milky but it actually will turn clear and you won't see any runs. It'll make it, it dresses it up, seals it off. So it looks really good when that third coat is done. I'm going to walk around the building and give you a picture of the end of day three. So while David puts a third coat on there on part of this, I'm gonna go around. This has got two coats on it, this side. We'll get that third coat on this side tonight because in the morning, Philip and his brother Matthew, we call him Farmer Phil, my brother-in-law, and his brother Matthew and his family just moved to Montana from Michigan. So we're really excited about that. They just missed the coronavirus lockdown over there in Michigan, so we're happy to have them. So they'll be here in the morning and help us get this uh, uh, chink. They're, they're going to chink it. Philip and Matthew. They might help us get some of the stain finished putting on and then they'll chink it. So that's got just the one coat on this end. And this has got just one coat. The railing has nothing. The house has one coat. You can see the difference between the areas that, that have nothing and the areas that have a coat. We had a JLG man lift and it didn't work right. So they're going to take that one back and we got a, a genie delivered this afternoon so that, that one works. There's something wrong with the orange machine. So that's all got one coat to there and then starting over here there's two coats and starting on the third one here, so it's going well for the third day.